Hello everyone and welcome back to Democracy 3. This episode is going to be the first liberal socialist episode. I don't really know if I should put them in the same category or not because they are in different categories in the game, but they tend to be on the exact same side of things most of the time. So, let's let's go with a new game. We'll go with America again just so that way it is even slate. Extremely social liberal party. Yeah. And what do you know? Perfect. The opposing party name is the Conservatives. Awesome. Well, let's go on. So last episode well the conservative episode, we did everything we could for the conservative position that I could think of off the bat. If I ever get stuck on this, I will think more about... I will try to look up more of the conservative position on certain things. So let's see. What makes liberals happy? Not much. Liberals seem to be pissed about everything. And socialists... They're definitely in favor of the taxes. Well, let's see. If we go into the liberals... So we want to do things that will appease the liberals and not care much about the conservatives. However, there's a few things which they do tend to agree on, which is pretty nice. Let's see. Prisons. Extensive rehabilitation, because both of them like it. In fact, almost everyone likes rehabilitation. Unemployment even drops with that. It does use a little more weight. It does cause a little more waste. A little more water demand. A little more electricity. But overall, it turns out well. And everyone seems to like it. Apply the changes. Alright. So then, there is... Armed police. Liberals do not like those armed police. Intelligence services, don't really like those. Police force, let's see. If I increase the police force, that's going to make liberals upset, correct? Actually, no. It won't make them upset at all. Okay, so actually I can inc increase the police force by a lot, and liberals will be quite satisfied having more police. But having the police with guns is not happy. Not happy times. Let's see. Border controls. I completely get rid of this and just allow anyone to walk through, kind of like what a, what the Statue of Liberty has on it. You know, give me your tired, your hungry, your poor, your humbled masses and shit like that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see, four political left. Instead of putting that money into border control, I can actually dump a bit of it into here. I'll see how it turns out. Let's see. I can actually dump all that money into here instead. Awesome! That uh, please that makes a lot of people happy. And at the same time, it doesn't piss off conservatives. Interesting. You'd think it would, considering how much they talk about getting rid of food stamps completely. But whatever. Let's see, let's go on to the next turn. 
Now, I realize that with doing only two terms or two quarters per episode, it's going to lead to kind of shorter episodes. But I think that turns out fine. Now, let's see, debt protection law, limit agency activity because they're pieces of garbage trying to prey on the weak. Hey, a quote from John Stewart. Yesterday, the president met with a group he calls the Coalition of the Willing, or as the rest of the world calls them, Britain and Spain. Mm-hmm. Okay. All in all, we're not doing too bad right now. Let's see. Hmm. What else can we do for this? I can't really get rid of the armed police straight away. Because that would just be a bit of a challenge. So if I can get rid of homelessness and ghettos, that would be quite nice. One thing I can do... Same-sex marriage for all. Screw the, li screw the conservatives and the religious. By the way, I like how if you do this, it raises the crime, but nothing else does anything. And that actually uses up pretty much all of our capital, which does kind of do bad things for us in terms of making this video lengthy. But I suppose that we can spend like five minutes just kind of discussing what we're going to do. So... Let's see, we need to get rid of the armed police. We want the alcohol law to be more strict? Less strict? I don't really know what they feel like on this. Huh. Interesting. Revert changes, go back. Citizenship tests, they don't really like that. Creationism versus evolution. This is a big one, which we want to go all the way to evolution only, because that's what they want. And we'll get more liberals that way, which is good. <coughs> Excuse me. I really need to get some cough medicine taken. Alright, what else is there? Death penalty, I'm pretty sure they want that abolished, which... I can see why. I mean, we've had how many people come off of death row being proven to have not committed the crime that they were sent to death row for in reality? It's a lot. It's a lot of people. Handgun laws, I'm sure they want more strict. Intelligence services just want to get rid of it completely. Jury trial, want to have more of it, more legal aid, less military spending. That's going to be a really, really interesting one. Narcotics, I'm sure they want that decriminalized. Prisoner tagging, I'm sure they want that one to stop. Private prisons, get rid of them completely. Same-sex recognition, I just did that one. Food Standards Agency, I'm sure they want that higher. Euthanasia, I think they want that one to be more than just occasional. Education gap, they want to get rid of that. Let's see, how do we get rid of the education gap? Private schools increase the education gap. We want to get rid of the education gap. So we need to get rid of private schools. State teaching quality. Is, is that what we want to do? I don't really know. <laughs> um... School vouchers. Yeah, so we want to get rid of the education gap, right? We, w we want no gap at all. So if we did that and spent all of our income on education, we would severely cripple the education gap. Well, wait, that leads to less people in socialism. What? I'm not sure how that works, exactly. 
because uh, private schools go up, but then so do poor earnings, and equality also rises, yet that somehow leads to less people in socialism. I don't understand that. I mean, if equality goes up, surely socialism should go up, right? Okay, where's the private schools? If we do more state schools, that would lead to less private schools. Right? <laughs> uh, huh. Let's actually take a look at military spending. <laughs> Does what I expected, overwhelming force. It gets to be a point... where they're okay with having a reserve military. Yeah, something close to this means that we still have a military technically. And liberals are peachy keen with that. You know, I don't know any liberals in real life that actually would be upset with a well-trained military. Even a light defensive military. But having a reserve military? I don't know of any liberals in real life that actually propose such a thing. Whatever. <laughs> okay. So, I think in the next episode for both of my playthroughs, we're going to be going with... We're going to be going into the cabinet and changing things up in there. Nope. Uh, let's see, if I increase this, I decrease socialism. So we don't want to do that. I'm just trying to see if there's one thing I can do to actually finish this off, but I don't think there's going to be. Because most things require like a 7. Internet relations, or international relations, need 50 to do anything with it. Interesting. So yeah, I'm probably doing a bad job of representing liberals in this too. Maybe a slightly better job than I do with conservatives because I tend to lean more liberal than conservative but yeah <laughs> this is going to be very interesting and if I can't well, I can't slow myself down with dishing out these polities and spending my capital we're gonna have a rough time actually doing longer episodes so hope you guys are enjoying this series don't forget to like subscribe and fave and I will see you in the next episode whenever that may be Take care, guys, and goodbye.